Hello, I'm David Gross with Condi Systems. I want to talk a little bit about the GX7000 today and explain how to adjust the built-in paper tray so that it accommodates all the paper sizes up to and including 11 by 17. It's one of those kind of little installation uh, things that we want to help you do right the first time. I know a lot of people when they get the paper tray, they look at it and can't quite figure it out. I call it my Japanese Rubik's Cube. So we want to show you how to adjust the paper tray and do it right the first time. We're going to take the paper tray out first. This tray, the tray consists of two parts. This is the cover, this is the tray. Let's talk about the cover first. What we want to do is put one hand on the front of the cover, one hand on the rear, and we want to expand the cover. You'll know you've expanded the cover when you see this right here. And so it's important we expand it, okay? Now we'll put this aside. Next is we want to expand the tray itself. And if we look on the tray, we've got two gray tabs, one on each side. We want to push those tabs inward. Then we want to expand the tray. Then we want to lock the tabs back in place. In this configuration, we can use all sizes of paper up to and including 11 by 17 by adjusting these sliders. So we adjust them to accommodate the paper we need. The left and right sliders are, are changed by pushing this in and then we adjust. The back, back stop is by pushing it this end here, we can pull it back and forth. All right, once we get our paper in the tray, we want to put the cover back on. The cover goes back on flush with the back and then we put the tray in. Now the tray is configured for all sizes up to and including 11 by 17. Well, I hope this has been informative for you to help you with some of the little quirks that we uh, see with the modern printers with all the flexible features they have. This is David Gross with Condi Systems. Thank you.